what is up ladies and gentlemen it's boy back with another video we're gonna check out eight upcoming space missions by india isro isro which is the indian space uh program you know thingy let's check it out much love to you guys tell me what you think in the comment section down below let's go the buzz shout out to the buzz for what is the subsequent space video. mission planned by india following its successful moon landing. This video focuses on examining the eighth forthcoming space missions to be conducted by the Indian Space Research Organization in the near future. Okay. At number one, the Aditya L-1. Aditya L-1 is a coronagraphy spacecraft being constructed and built by the Indian Space Scientific Organization and other Indian scientific organizations to explore the solar environment. It will be placed in a halo orbit around the L1 point between Earth and the Sun to research the solar atmosphere, solar magnetic storms, and their impact on the Earth's environment. The primary scientific goals are coronal heating, solar wind acceleration, coronal magnetometry, the origin and monitoring of near-UV solar radiation, and the continuous observation of the photosphere, chromosphere, and corona, as well as solar energetic particles and the Sun's magnetic field. It is the first Indian mission dedicated to observing the Sun, and it is scheduled to launch on September 2, 2023, aboard a PSLV XL launch vehicle. So most likely this, the first one is already done, right? Because that was for September 2023. So I'm, I'm sure I'll check it out, but I'm sure like that may probably it's done. And that looks like it is like um, a really scary uh, mission because sun, bro, trying to check out the sun, trying to study the sun. Anyways, um, let's go. But that is one hell of a mission. Let's go. Number two, the Expo set. The X-ray polarimeter satellite, or Exposet, Exposet, is a space telescope that will be used to study how X-rays in space are polarized. It okay. will be sent into space by a polar satellite launch vehicle with a mission life of at least five years in 2023 or later. Mm -hmm. When you look at how radiation is split, you can find out where it comes from, how strong and where its magnetic fields are and what other radiation is around it. Exposet will study the 50 brightest known sources in the sky. These include pulsars, black hole X-ray binaries, active galactic nuclei, and non-thermal supernova remnants. Okay. The telescope will be put in a 500-kilometer low Earth orbit. Number three, the Gaganyan. Gaganyan. Gaganyan is an Indian orbital spaceship that will have a crew on board. It is meant to be the first spacecraft in the Indian human spaceflight program. The spacecraft is being oh. built to hold three people, and a later version will be able to dock and meet up with other ships. In its first journey with people on board, the Indian Space Research Organization 5.3 metric tons capsule will orbit the Earth at 400 km altitude for up to seven days with a crew of two or three. Okay. As per reliable sources, the Gaganyan spacecraft test will likely take place in the late 2023. The first crew flight was supposed to take off in December 2021, but now it won't happen until at least 2025. Okay, uh, I want you guys to confirm with me, like, is this one, is it, is it done also, this one? And also, I didn't know that India uh, hasn't done, you know, like a, a space program with people, like they've sent people out there. I didn't know that, but... Uh, if this is already done by now, because now this 2023, now it's 2024, if this is done, then that is already, like, they've ticked that, like, we've done this now. It's still amazing, you know, trying to, to do better and move from what you've done before. Uh, obviously, it has done some incredible things, the space program, but still, it's, it's trying to get better and get more things to work. So let's go. Let's check it out. Let's go. At number four, NISAR. The NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar, or NISAR mission, is a joint project between NASA and ISRO to build oh, no, and launch a dual-frequency synthetic aperture radar on an Earth imaging satellite. The satellite will be the first one to use two different bands for radar imaging. It will be used okay. for remote sensing, which is a way to watch and learn about how things work on Earth. For example, the devices on its left side will study the Antarctic ice cap, 
At an estimated total cost of $1.5 billion, NISAR is set to be the most expensive Earth imaging satellite in the world. Wow. Okay. At number five, the Shukrayan. Okay. The Venus Shukrayan. Orbiter mission, also known as Shukrayan, is a planned mission to research Venus's surface and atmosphere. Funds were released in 2017 to finish early studies, and instrument tenders were published. Depending on its final form, the orbiter might carry up to 100 kilograms of science payload and have 500 watts of usable power. The initial elliptical orbit and Venus is projected to have a periapsis distance of 500 kilometers and an apopsis distance of 60,000 kilometers. At number 6, the Mars Orbiter Mission 2. Mars Orbiter Mission 2 is the Indian Space Research Organization's projected 2024 second mission again, to Mars. There's a lot. The Vikram Sarabhai Space Center director hinted at the possibility of a landing in an October 2019 taped video, but the ISRO chairman emphasized in a February 2021 interview with the Times of India that the mission will consist simply of an orbiter. The orbiter will utilize aerobraking okay. to reduce its initial apopsis and enter more observable orbit. This mission will be launched by India in 2024. A hyperspectral camera, a high-resolution panchromatic camera, and a radar will be used to study early Martian crust, recent basalt, and boulder Mars. falls. Number 7. Chandrayaan-4 the Lunar Polar Exploration Mission, also known as Chandrayaan-4, is a collaborative lunar mission lunar proposed polar. by India's Space Research Organization and Japan's Aerospace Exploration Agency. The mission okay. will deploy an unmanned lunar lander and rover to the moon's south pole no later than 2026. Japan is expected to supply the underdevelopment H-3 launch vehicle and rover, while India will supply the lander. The mission is expected to be launched between 2026 and 2028. At number 8, the AstroSat-2. AstroSat-2 is India's second dedicated multi-wavelength space telescope planned by the Indian Space Research Organization as the successor to the current AstroSat-1 observatory, which will be operational for five years, finishing in 2020. ISRO issued an announcement of opportunity in February 2018, seeking submissions from Indian scientists for concepts and the construction of astronomy and astrophysics instrumentation. The year of release is yet to be determined. With this, the buzz has come to the end of today's video. Amazing Don't forget stuff, to hit that it? notification bell for more videos from the buzz. Thank you guys for that is amazing. Uh, it's always crazy for me how India is is. Uh, like day by day trying to to get up there do better and make it work you know especially when it's now even going tour to tour with some big you know some big 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 you know agencies space agencies like NASA all those from Russia China, the one from China as well it's amazing man how they're doing it and they do it alone they innovate their things they work on themselves and they do better each and every time so you can see how many of these are listed for 2024 or let's just say up until 2020 2030 you know they have a lot of work and all these they do help uh, the human race at large and uh, man, i'm rooting for them i'm sure like there's also a lot of work that china also russia america maybe the uk as well are working uh, towards when it comes to these space programs but still looking at these Eight upcoming space missions by India. I'm pretty sure like this is amazing. This is going to be a change for both India and for the world. And it's much love to you guys. Don't much think in the comments section down below. I'll sure check it out. And we'll take care. Peace.